Hello students, I am Mrs. Gracie Mendes and I will be taking the next lesson of computer that is input and output devices. So let's begin. I know you all have learned about the parts of the computer. So now certain parts of the computer help us to give command to the computer or you know to feed some information in the computer and these parts or these devices are called as input devices. Now what are some of the input devices that you must have seen if you have a keyboard or if you have a laptop at home. So those devices are you have a keyboard which becomes your input device, mouse, joystick which is used to play games, then the microphone, you have a scanner and a web camera. So all these, and there could be a few more also. So these all are devices that help us to give commands to the computer and feed data or information in computer. Because they feed data or information in the computer, they are called as input devices. So some examples. And pictures of these are, this is the keyboard, then you have the mouse, then you have the trackball, you have the scanner, then you have the digitizer, a camera, and the microphone. So the mic kind of, you know, where all these things are used to feed information or to give some command to the computer. Let's go to the next part that is output devices. Now, the devices that help us to get the results from the computer after we complete our work. Suppose we've typed our name or we've done some drawing. And when we can see those things on the computer or on a paper or we can hear something, what we have put on in our laptop or on our PC, these devices are called as output devices. Now output devices could help us, you know, like the examples that are given is monitor, printer and speaker. Now monitor gives you a visual form, means you can see what you have typed on the computer. So suppose if I type letter A to Z, letters A to Z, so I can see all those on my screen and that is why the monitor gives me the visual form of the work that I have done. A printer, when I print out whatever I have typed, like you must have seen your question paper. So that becomes a hard copy. And so the printer gives us a copy of whatever is typed or whatever we have said in the computer. Now speakers, if you have seen, they give us the audio form. So when we put some music or if you are playing some game, the sound that we can hear is because of the speaker. So the speakers help us in the audio form of the work that is done. So let's check out some pictures of the output devices. So we've got the CRT, we've got the LCD, we've got the printer, then we've got the speaker and we've got the plotter. So all these are your output devices. And as I said, speaker gives you the audio form, printer gives us the hard copy and the monitor gives us the visual form. Now, in your English class of book, I hope you're writing the computer notes, so you will draw a double line. And right there, input and output devices. You will draw a nice line using a ruler. Write today's date. And write the first question, fill in the blank. After each question, leave a line. And underline the word using the answer using a ruler. So the first one, keyboard is an output device. So the answer is output. So you will underline this word using a pencil and a ruler. Then leave a line. Write the second one. 
the commands are given to the computer using the mouse click. So the answer is mouse. So underline the word mouse. Leave a line. Three, data is typed on the computer using the keyboard. The word is data. So underline it with the ruler. Number four, a joystick is used to play video games. Underline the word joystick. Leave a line. The results are called output of our work. So underline the word output. Number six, the monitor is the main output in a printed form. So the answer is monitor. Underline it using a ruler and a pencil only. Number seven, the printer gives us output in a printed form. So underline the word printer. Number eight, Speakers give us output in audio form. Underline the word audio. Number nine, monitor gives us output in visual form. Underline the word visual. After you finish, draw a line using a ruler. Your question two is name the following. Number one, output devices. Answer is monitor, speakers, printer. Leave a line. Number two, input devices. Answer is keyboard, joystick, mouse, and scanner. So leave a line and draw a line. Question three: State true or false. Number one: The speakers print our work on a sheet of paper. The answer is false. Underline the word false. Then you leave a line. Second one: Keyboard is an output device. False. Number three, printouts from computer are called hard copy. The answer is true. Leave a line. Number four, we need speakers to play music on our computer. It is true. So underline the answer. Number five, we play games using a joystick. Again, this answer is true. So underline the word true. Number six, input devices help us to give commands to the computer. It's the correct answer, so write that through. Leave a line. And number seven, monitor gives us output in audio form. The answer is false. Now for this lesson, you will be having a Google Form exam where you will have a MCQ pattern where questions will be given and you will have options where you need to tick the correct answer. So this is all I have for this lesson. Now, so you will answer your paper, what is there. The dates will be given to you by your teacher. You will answer it correctly. And even for true or false, you will have two options. So you have to either click true or false, whichever is the correct answer. Now, question four, match the following. Keyboard, you will divide your page into, or you will fold your page into two parts. And one side you will write keyboard, the other side you will write output device, printer, hard copy, speakers, audio form, monitor, visual form. So with this, I come to the end of this lesson. And I want you to complete your notes neatly and start studying for your Google form. So see you children. Bye-bye. Complete your notes neatly.